Be sailed aboard as ship Monroe in August 83. And drawing near to Cape Town, which was known to me, it was there I met with Carey. We had angry words and blows, and the venom sword. It take my my life on board a ship. As I stood up to defend myself and to fight before I died, a pocket pistol I drew forth and then I let it fly. I, I let him have the second one which pierced him through the heart. I let him have the third me boys before we did that. I told Donnell you shot my husband, Mrs. Carey, loudly cried. Oh yes I did in self-defense, quite madam then said I. But the jury found me guilty, and the judge made his reply on the twenty third of January O'Donnell you must die. Pat O'Donnell reserved his sentence which his courage can man meet. And then he asked the justice for a little time to speak. to speak. The judge says, no, there is no time. Oh, damn it, loudly cried. Give three cheers for dear old Ireland and you United States goodbye. Yeah. I wish I was a free man now and to live another year. But traitors and invaders, I would make them shake with fear. Right. I would make them run before me like the hare before the hound and a shoot on farmers from the Swedish ground. <laughs> 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 <laughs>